we have question number 15 from June 2017, IAL. Um, I'm going to answer part C, which is the part that I've been asked to answer. Okay. Um, here we are going to... <clears throat> the height of water H meters in a harbor on a particular day is given by the equation H equals 4 plus 1.5 sine of the angle pi t over 6. Okay, so we see we're going to be dealing with radians. Okay? Where t is the number of hours after midnight and pi t over 6 is measured in radians. Find to the nearest minute the first two times when the height of the water is 3 meters. So we've got to find when h is equal to 3, basically. We'll find the first two times when h is equal to 3. Of course, it's, it's going to, the sine curve continues on like, you know, as a wave, so it will be, there will be multiple times when it reaches 3 meters in the day. We want to find the first two times that it reaches three meters. Okay, so first thing, of course, is we make the equation equal to um, three. Pi t over six, make that equal to three. So we've got to, you know, try to solve this equation. So take four from both sides. 1.5 times sine of pi t over six is equal to three minus four, which is minus one. And you're going to divide by 1.5 sine of pi t over 6 equals negative. Well, that's 1 divided by 3 over 2, which is going to be 2 over 3. Okay, because that's 3 over 2. 1 divided by 3 over 2 gives you 2 over 3. Okay, so now we're almost ready to start solving the equation. However, we've got to take into account the fact that we're given the limits in this form. And we have to change this so that this matches, okay, our equation as it's, as it's given. So we've got this, you know, multiple angle here. So we're going to have to multiply both of these by pi over 6, just like this would be multiplied by pi over 6. Well, 0 multiplied by anything is 0. And 24 times pi over 6 gives you 4 pi. Okay. All right. So now, let's solve. So we take our calculator out, and we make sure that it's in, in radian mode. It's not in radian mode, so we're going to put it in radian mode. So angle unit, 2. Radians is 2. OK, now it says R. So whichever way your, your particular calculator works, you can deal with that way. So now you've got shift sign of negative 2 thirds. bracket and we get an answer in radians which is negative 0 0.7927 okay so all right so pi pi over t pi, sorry pi t over 6 equals negative 0 point let's just make sure we've got the right number 729 7297 I'll stop there 7297 7 Two nine seven. Let's just check to see how they wanted us to round our answer to the nearest minute. Okay, so that's perfectly fine to leave it like that. Okay, now that's one of the solutions. Okay, that's one of the solutions. Okay, we also have other solutions. Now this solution is actually not actually inside our range. Okay, this solution is outside of our range. Okay, if you remember, if you think about the sine curve, it goes like this. Okay, we want the first two terms. We, I mean this. This will go up to 4 pi. Let me just draw it one again. I'll draw it down here a bit. Okay, your sine curve will look something like that between 0 and 360, and then. I don't know what that is. Well, that's 2 pi, and that's 4 pi. Okay? We've got to catch the first two t times that it reaches um, three meters okay and that's when okay the 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 sign of the angle is going to be over here somewhere we're looking for these two to we're looking for these two types here these two solutions right now okay now the solution that the calculator gave us was this solution here that's what the calculator gave us right now for sine if you remember the first solution although this solution is not included this is not included because this is when t time is negative. 
right? That's not included in our answer, okay? We're going to use it to find the other solutions. Now, remember for the sine curve, symmetrical about 90. So 180 minus this will give us the other main solution. So we're going to do 180 minus. So 180 is pi, so we're going to put pi minus our answer. That will give us the other solution, which is 3.871. So 3, 3.871. Okay. And now, so that's basically what we've just done is we found this solution there. Okay, that 3.871 is this solution there. It's 180 minus that will end up being 180 plus that number, right? 180 minus that will give you 180 plus that. So it's pi plus that value. So we just found that solution there. Now remember, the sine curve repeats every 360 degrees. Okay, so from these two solutions, you can generate all the other solutions. Okay, so if I add 360 and subtract 360 from these, I'll get all the other solutions. Now if I subtract 360 from, if I add 360 to this, I'm going to get the solution over here. 360 more than that is that solution. So if I add 360, which is 2 pi, because we're doing radians, to our final answer, answer before, let's, can I go back to, that was our answer before. If I do um, this, okay, um, and I add 2 pi, I'm going to get 5.5534, 5.5534. Or five point five five three five. Five point five five three five. Okay, so we've now generated the two solutions that we need. Okay? If I continue further, if I add um, three sixty to this answer, okay, which is the answer that we got over here, I'll get the answer I'll get the the time there. But I don't need that time, I want the first two times only. If I add three sixty to this, I'll get the answer in that position, but I don't need those two, right? So I just need these two. This, I've put it like this dotted line around it, meaning that that's not a solution, but that helped us find the other solutions. It helped us find this solution, it helped us find that solution. Right? 180 minus this gave us that solution, and one and, and, and um, this number plus two, two, 360, which I mean pi, one, 180 is degrees, pi plus that gave us this solution, and two pi plus that gave us that solution. So our two solutions that we need from this are 3.871 and 5.554. Now I can find what t is. I've got to multiply by 6 and divide by pi. So I've got to multiply each of these by 6. So I have 6 times 3.871 divided by pi. And I'll have um, 6 times... 5.554 divided by pi. Okay, and we've got to find the limit the first two times. Okay, so let's find what t is first. Okay, so we're going to have we've got that times 6 divided by pi times 6 and then divided by pi, which gives us 10.606. That's 10.6, oh, sorry, this thing starts to lag after a little while, so 10.606, and here I've got 3.871, if I can get the answer back somehow. Just to be more accurate. No, it was one eighty minus that. Okay, so we've got pi minus it, sorry. Yep, times six divided by pi. That gives us seven point three nine three. So T is equal to 7.39, what was it? 3.94. Okay, those are the two times. But well, we've got to give them to the nearest minute. And what does it say about T here? It says T is the number of hours after midnight. So, yeah, so you're going to have 
Okay, it's 7.39. Now we're going to convert that into hour, into minutes. So the times are 7, and you're going to have 0 0.394 times 60. We'll tell you that answer in in minutes. How many minutes is that? Okay, so you're going to have take the 7 and times 60. Okay, which is 23.6, which is 24. So that's 27.24. We'll put it in 24 hour clock. And the other time is 10. And then you have 0 0.606. Now, I'll show you a little shortcut to this. Um, all right, we did time 6 divided by pi. Oops. Second. Second, let me just do you got um uh, sorry, ten point ten point six point six oh six. Okay. And I want to change that into minutes and hours and minutes, you can just press this button here. Whoops. In my old calculator, that's how it used to work. That's equal, so then you press that button. Yes. So that's 10 hours and 36 minutes. So it's 10.36. Okay, and 21 seconds. Otherwise, you can just do... Just turn it back. You do... You multiply 6.06 .6 by 60, and that gives you 36.36, which is 36 to the nearest minute. So those are the two times. Okay, those are the two times when um, the height, the first two times when the height of the water is 3 meters. I hope that was understandable. But remember, the sine curve, shift sine of the angle gives you the first solution. Okay. Even if it's outside of the range, you use that to find the other solutions, you might need them. So you do 180 minus that to give you the other main solution, which was this. Okay, And then from these two, you can generate all the other solutions needed. You add 360 to each of them and subtract 360 from each of them to find all the other solutions. We only wanted the first two solutions, which were bigger than zero, which were these two here. Okay, So that's how you deal with sine. If it was a cosine, the, the, the calculator will give you one angle, then 360 minus that would give you the other main angle, and then you use those two angles to generate all the other solutions by adding 360 and subtracting 360. If it was tangent, your calculator gives you the main angle, and because the tangent just repeats every 180 anyway, you just keep adding 180 and subtracting 180 to and from that number to generate all the other solutions. Okay, so that's how you can deal with them in an easy way for these <coughs> trade kind of questions. Thank you for watching.